Then the beast was captured, verse 20. And with him the false prophet who worked signs in his presence, by which he deceived those who received the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image. These two were cast alive into the lake of fire burning with brimstone. The beast and the false prophet, both of them were captured by the Lord Jesus and they were cast alive into that river of fire. Into the lake of fire burning with brimstone. Both of them were cast. The beast and the false prophet. Well, we saw that in Revelation chapter 13. The false prophet came out of the land. The beast came out of the sea. Seven heads, ten horns, and ten crowns. But the false prophet looked like a ram from outside with two horns. And we spoke about this in depth when we were talking about Revelation 13. I don't want to repeat what we spoke of. But both of them were cast into the lake of fire. Both of them by the Lord Jesus. Satan and his foul spirits, now they are in Hades. Those who go and depart from the Lord, they will go to hell. The foul spirits are in Hades. Angels are in heaven. The people that are not going to make it to heaven, they're going to go to hell. And those who are going to make it to be with the Lord, they are going to paradise. So there are two groups of people. Two of them were cast alive into the lake of fire. The beast and the false prophet. Why these two? Because there is Elijah and Enoch, the two that are still alive that went to heaven. Two went up to heaven and two will be cast into the lake of fire. Elijah and Enoch, beast and false prophet. Yes? So, foul spirits, Hades. People that leave this world that belong to Satan go to hell. But those who belong to Jesus Christ, they'll go to paradise. Angels are in heaven. People with the Lord are in paradise. Foul spirits are in Hades. People that are going to go with Satan are going to end up in hell. In the second coming, those foul spirits in Hades and those souls in hell, they'll be both taken and cast into the lake of fire once and for all. And those angels in heaven and those souls who are in paradise on the second coming, they'll be taken into the Father's house where the Lord has been there for the last 2,024 years. Now, verse 21, And the rest were killed with the sword which proceeded from the mouth of him who sat on the horse. And all the birds were filled with their flesh. Those who worship Satan will end up in hell and eventually in the lake of fire along with the beast and the false prophet. But everyone else that did not worship Satan nor accepted Jesus Christ of Nazareth, they'll be killed by the sword that came out of the mouth of the Lord. Meaning the sword is his word and his word is the judgment. They will be judged by the Lord himself and the birds of the sky will be filled with their flesh. Eh? In other words, they will all be judged and end up dead for their, uh, forever and ever and ever. The only way for us to be saved is to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. The only way. The only way. Jesus is the only way, my beloved. Don't ever think Jesus is for the Christians only. No. He's for everyone. They attacked every Christian country. America, they took the Bibles out of schools. They introduced laws against the Lord Jesus. 
Australia, Canada. Oh my goodness, Canada. Europe. So many churches in Europe are now museums, empty places, and probably being turned into restaurants and God knows what else. In Europe, the biggest number where Christians are walking away from Christ is Europe, followed by Canada, followed now in recent times by America and Australia as well. Christian countries have walked away from the Lord. Why? Because the beast and the kings of the earth are gathering together to make war with the Lord Jesus and his army. They're not interested in the Lord Jesus anymore. Not interested. But my beloved, let me tell you this. Even if they kill me for the sake of the Lord, please be my guest. Please be my guest. Don't ever sell your Lord Jesus. Don't ever walk away from your Lord. Don't ever. Don't ever walk away from the Lord. Don't ever, my beloved. My throat has been extremely tired. Um, but I couldn't not come today because I love you so much. But believe me, I'm extremely tired. People who received Christ were called Christians. And whoever receives Christ will be called Christian. An atheist receives Christ will be called Christian. A Muslim receives Christ will be called Christian. A Buddhist, a Hindu, anyone and everyone who receives Christ will be called a Christian. We were not Christians. We received Christ. We became Christians. Christ came for every single human being. He loves everyone. He died for everyone and he is willing to save everyone if we choose for him to do so. Our part is to let him in our life. Call him. Say, Lord, I don't know you. Please let me get to know you more and more. I was born as an atheist. I don't know God. I don't believe in God. I never believed in God. But if you truly exist, I am calling you to come and reveal to me that you truly exist. I'm a Buddhist. I'm a Hindu. I'm a Muslim. I'm this. I'm that. I don't know. Show me the true God. Who are you? What is your name? Show me. His name is Jesus Christ. There is no other God, believe you me. I went to hell, Satan is ugly. You don't want to be there, trust me. Trust me, you don't want to be there. I'm not making it up, may the Lord strike me dead this moment. You could never ever come across anyone as ugly, as poisonous, as hatred as Satan. He's real. Hell is real. But the Lord is the truth and heaven is the truth. Totally opposite. Ugliness, beauty. Darkness, light. Death, life. Filth, holiness. When you see Satan, it's the ugliest ever. When you see Jesus, the Son of Man, in his glory there is no words ever 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 that can could express explain illustrate the beauty of christ impossible he surpasses 
every language, every word to explain how awesome and beautiful he is. No, impossible, 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 impossible. Impossible. 